Hello, hello, dear viewers. A very warm welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. In this video, we are going to have a look at how to reset the car ECU without a scandal. Resetting your car engine control unit or electronic control unit without a scandal is a common fix for minor drivability issues, and it's often referred to as an ECU reset or ECM hard reset. It is a simple process that clears the ECU's adaptive memory. This procedure is intended for educational purposes. While generally safe for most modern vehicles, performing an ECU reset will also clear learned values for your transmission and other modules. Your car may run a little differently, for example, it might idle a little high or shift roughly for a short period. It could be about 5 to 20 miles as it relearns your driving habits. So, Always consult your vehicle's owner manual for a specific instruction or warning before proceeding to ECU reset. Let's have a look at some of the most effective and universal methods of ECU reset. Well, the most effective and the universal method is the battery disconnect method. This is the most effective one. This method works by removing all power from the ECU, forcing it to clear its voltage memory. Let's see how to proceed. First, you have to have a proper range for removing or disconnecting the battery and it's a good idea to wear a pair of gloves as well. Now, park your car on a level surface, put it in park and you can also put it in first gear for a manual transmission vehicle. Engage the parking brake and turn the ignition completely off, then remove the key from the cylinder. Now, go ahead and locate the battery, open the hood and locate the 12 volt battery that is supplying electrical electrical energy to the entire vehicle now identify the negative battery terminal then once you identify the negative battery terminal the negative battery terminal is the one with a minus sign and it may have a black cable whereas the positive terminal is red and has a plus sign so you must disconnect the negative terminal only then proceed to disconnect the negative cable use the correct size range Loosen the nut or bolt that clamps the negative terminal connector onto the battery post. Once loose, carefully twist and pull the connector off the battery post. Then the crucial step comes. Secure the disconnected cable away from the battery terminal. You can tuck it into a side or use some type of tie to ensure it cannot accidentally swing back and make contact to the battery post. This prevents spark and short circuit. Once the battery negative terminal is removed, then we proceed to the waiting period. With the battery disconnected, press and hold the car's horn for about 30 seconds. This will drain any remaining residual power. It could be a capacitor stored charge from the electrical system, ensuring complete battery power drainage, complete electric drainage and ensuring complete reset. You can also go ahead and turn the headlights. Well, obviously the headlights, uh, they do not turn on because the battery is disconnected, but this will discharge any stored energy somewhere. For a more thorough reset, leave the battery disconnected for at least 30 minutes. 15 to 30 minutes will be fine. Some recommend longer, for example, some recommend disconnecting the battery and keeping it overnight, but 15 minutes is usually sufficient to drain all keep alive memory. Then, once the waiting period is finished, reconnect the battery. Reconnect the negative cable to the negative battery terminal, tighten the lock nut, secure it so the connection is solid. Then, this will be followed by the relearn process. Start the car. You may notice the idle is a little higher than normal or the engine sounds a little bit different. This is completely normal. Then, don't rev the engine. Let it idle for at least 10 minutes to allow the ECU to relearn basic idle settings. Now, if possible, take the car for a varied drive or city or highway drive for about 10 to 20 miles. Use gentle acceleration and deceleration. This will allow the ECU to relearn fuel trims, shift points and other adaptive settings. So by this, you can reset and restore the ECU. This works for majority of the vehicle. So the number one method is the battery disconnect method. The second method for resetting the ECU is the fuse pull method. This is an alternative method. Now 
If disconnecting the battery is not convenient, you can sometimes achieve the same result by removing the ECU fuse. This is less universal as the fuse box layout varies greatly by depending on the vehicle model. Now, what are some of the steps to be followed when using the fuse pool method in order to reset the ECU? Well, first locate the fuse box. If you are not sure where the fuse box is located, you can always consult your owner's manual to find the interior fuse panel. It is usually under the dashboard or some, sometimes it is located in the glove box and under the hood. Then, once the fuse box is found, make sure to identify the correct fuse. The manual will have a diagram labeling each fuse. Now, look for fuse labeled like ECU, ECM, PCM or engine control. These are different designations used to identify the fuse that is powering the ECU. Now, once you locate the fuse specifically designed for the ECU, then pull the fuse. You can use a fuse puller. If fuse puller is not available, you can use a pair of needle nose pliers to carefully remove the identified ECU fuse. Once the fuse is removed, then proceed to the waiting phase. Wait for at least 10 to 15 minutes in order to discharge any stored power somewhere. Once the waiting period is over, reinsert the fuse. Put the fuse back in its original slot, ensure it is seated properly. Then perform the relearn process. Just do what we have mentioned for method number one, for the battery disconnect method. Let the engine idle. The idle could be a little different. Let it run for some minutes. Then you can drive it gently. That will cause the ECU to relearn all of the basic settings for idle and for any shifts related learning settings. Now let's proceed to see what an ECU reset can fix and what ECU reset cannot fix. Now ECU reset might help with issues caused by corrupted adaptive memory, such as rough idle for example, high idle after a repair or a battery change. If the idle is rough, if it is higher than normal, it could help. And it could also fix some hesitation or a sluggish acceleration. It can help you in fixing erratic shifting in automatic transmission. And fix it. it can also help you fix issues after installing new sensors. It could be a new MAF sensor or new oxygen sensor. And it could also help you in clearing some error codes that return without a clean course. So these are some of the things that an ECU reset can fix. There are also issues that cannot be fixed. For example, ECU reset might not fix a check engine light caused by an active current mechanical fault. For example, if the check engine light is illuminated by bad oxygen sensor or misfire from a faulty spark plug or large vacuum leak, ECU reset will not eliminate this. And problems with physical components. It could be problem with sensors or problem with actuators. ECU reset won't fix that as well. And some permanent fault codes that are stored in the ECU's memory cannot be erased by ECU reset as well. Now, whenever you're doing an ECU reset, there are some key things in to remember after a reset. You will lose your radio station presets, clock time, and possibly seat or mirror memory settings. You will need to reset them all. To pass an emission test, the ECU must complete a drive cycle to run all its self-test. This can take several days for a specific driving condition. So don't go for an emission test right after ECU reset. Now, whenever you are doing ECU reset, patience is key. The car's drivability will improve as you drive it. Don't judge its performance for the first few miles. So ECU reset will have a relearning phase that is followed the reset until all that relearning is done efficiently, you might notice vehicle acting a little differently. So if your check engine light comes back on immediately or the problem persists after reset and a short drive, the issue is likely a hard fault that requires proper diagnosis with a scan tool. These two are the most common methods that are used to reset your ECU. The first method, as we have mentioned, is the battery disconnect method. The second method is the fuse disconnection method.
so by doing this you can reset your engine control unit well dear viewers that is all we have for you regarding some of the things that you can do in order to reset your car's ECU if you find this video helpful and if you like what has been presented please smash the like button if you are new to this channel do consider subscribing turn on notifications so that you will be the first to get notified whenever we come up with another video until then stay safe